You can see their little manes now that are a little bit closer on their neck. Those will disappear in the coming months, probably by the time they're two years of age. They will lack that. When they were born, that would have been very big and white and fluffy and run all the way down their back. And I'm certainly looking forward to showing you guys some cheetah cubs and also spending time with cheetah cubs myself. I have not spent much time with cheetah, big or small, to be honest, in my guiding career. And I'm loving the opportunity that the Masai Mara is providing all of us to get to know these awesome, awesome beasts. Oh, what an incredibly lucky start to the day. I'm quite surprised to see her here, to be honest. I thought she likes to spend time further to the south of where we are, kind of around Lookout Hill. But female cheetah do not have territories. They have a home range that they kind of just wander through, that, so they will not compete with other females for territory, but the males certainly are territorial, and there will be battles between them to lay stake to the best possible land. Speaking of which, the Musketeer Coalition, who obviously is a male coalition that will have a territory, is in the point where they're going to actually be putting a stamp down on this property that they're moving into, on this territory that they're moving into. The last few months, I've been told, we've been very lucky that they've been spending more time in the Masai Mara Reserve because I've been told since they arrived in December last year they were mainly in the surrounding um, conservancies. So some very interesting stuff could happen with the cheetah in this area, the male cheetah at least, and some territorial takeovers. So maybe.